I think Chase genuinely genuinely thought it was gonna go a thousand miles. Oh yeah, I was telling As is. he thought he stole that bike out from under us. Oh, yeah. well, we gotta like, make it go a thousand. I was like, uh Oh, you're kidding me. I've about died 20 times. You're a lone wolf over here. Well, I'm always kind of the last one to get ready, so I was trying to change it up a little bit. I feel like, uh, you know, every day is a chance to start over in life, and uh, today's the day for me. This, this day, I'm afraid, is gonna be a little rough. I don't think it's gonna go super great right off the bat, but hey, you know, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love it, love it. I don't know how cold it is here, but it's probably going to get colder than this. Got the matching t-shirt on. Oh yeah, and my tribute to Purple Rain. What? No oh, way! <laughs> what? Dude, that's freaking awesome, dude. Uh -oh. Walk of shame. Oh boy. Walk of shame. Uh-oh. Battery's looking a little low. Oh. Yeah, first kick. <laughs> See, I spent all my time on that bike. Okay, I have no clue how this pet cock works. Uh, it looks like just a blob of JB Weld. Is that what it is? That is exactly that what it is. Okay. <laughs> I think the gym is uh, that way. You know what I was surprised by? Those What's passenger that? pegs. Did they really put factory passenger <laughs> pegs on the swing arm? I yeah. guess so. Yeah, that's, they see that all the time. That's amazing, I didn't know that. We're gonna hit some whoops. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Again, in case that fuel cap doesn't hold up, I got an exhaust plug for you that with a vent hose. That's better than my setup on the DR200. Awesome. I saw that, so I thought of you. Thank you so much. Doing a little gearing up, checking my switches in case somebody messed with them. Yep, all connected. Only 50 pounds each. A 10 to overpack. What does that put the total weight of the bike at? Uh, 120 pounds. <laughs> Perfect. Where's your you know, wig? Prince, bless his soul, would be very pleased with Purple Rain. When Doves Cry video, when Prince takes his his CB400 or whatever it is, C, whatever, across the dirt, and he does that little squat thing to absorb the bumps. That's gonna be on my mind when we when we hit the off road today. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that riding style. <laughs> So we're gonna go across the street over here to, to fuel up. We'll get everybody fueled up. Um, and then we're gonna take off. We're just gonna do this back road along the, the back here. I think it's the parkway or whatever. It takes us over to the other exit. We're going to jump on the freeway. If we're all good, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we communicate, make sure we're all good. Then we're gonna jump on the freeway and go to the Moapa exit. And then we've got probably another 15 miles of pavement and then we're gonna hit our first off-road section.
Hey, after this new top end, this bike really shreds. You can really feel the power. Just kidding, it's the same. Oh, here we go. Hope you guys said your prayers this morning. <laughs> Chancellor's just cruising. I see a little smoke, Chancellor. <laughs> the left bank is smoking. <laughs> are, are you okay? <laughs> this is it for me. Chance, that's all you got? Yeah, I got a fuel, I got fuel problems, I think. Uh-oh. I still got another gear. The diesel's passing us. No! Here, grab on! Hey, the good news is your smoke is clear enough. Oh, good. <laughs> Dude, I thought you tested yours on the highway before. Yeah, I did. And I'm having new problems down here. You want to race up this hill? That's pinned right there. Oh! Yeah, we're 30, 33 miles into this, and the SP is struggling to start here. We've been kicking it for a little while. There we go. All right, we're in business. It's definitely not wanting to go. Oh, it's really coming out. <laughs> Oh no, it's dying. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Your case is so hot, the case, that it boils off the case. Turn that on just for a second. Come here, Justin. Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this over here. Oh my gosh. Dude, that whoa, whoa, whoa. Light up. Okay. You backing up? <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta pull the carb apart. I think Chase genuinely, genuinely thought it was gonna go a thousand miles. Oh yeah, I was telling As is. he thought he stole that bike out from under us. Oh, yeah. well, we gotta like, make it go. A thousand I was miles. like, uh, I looked down. And I was like, oh, that's a steady this stream. Full? <laughs> That's why I named it. Wow, that came out. See? Pop. Pops out, just like that. So what do you mean this thing was surging? What, what's going on there? Like shutting just, off or you just, just holding it at the same throttle and it'll just be like, what? What? <laughs> it's healing. So I was on the phone, but how come we pulled over? Was it running just horrible? Yeah, it was running out. Yeah, fuel was pouring out. So. Do we want to put the float back on and then just hook the tank up? Do a bench test? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I want to grab the tank and we'll hook her up. And there. Uh, it's pissing? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I still think the float's okay. high. Okay. We keep having problems with the float. The needle and seat leaking. We thought. We, we thought. We found out. Eric noticed the float here is full of fuel so we've got a little pinhole right there that was soldered shut at one point of its life and has come loose so oh there's the fumes inside there yeah. popping the solder out well that's one way to get it out. yeah <laughs> yeah let's burn all them fumes out first uh -oh. oh shit <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> I think we should have JV welded it. Hold on. Let's let's get it nice and straight before we do uh, that. <laughs> get that. We're good, We're good. Well, it's not very straight. Don't sit in that dark spot. <laughs> uh, the... Well, I could probably bend it. Yeah, you could totally bend it. 
What, what, you're with that. Okay, yeah. we're, we're pretty good uh, now. <laughs> okay, JB Weldon. Really? Tiny little pinch. How big? Tiny. How big? <laughs> Give me a piece. <laughs> oh, dude. That is tiny. I'll try to do a little more than that. Not a holder. Yep. Why didn't we do that in the first place? That solder was not a good idea. <laughs> This back one up first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, it's going to come in. Sorry. Okay. Okay. It's good. I think it runs way better than before. Oh man! Where the crap is that coming from? Is it? Is it the pressure, the hose that comes off the oil pressure sensor? Yeah, I don't know, it might. Holy cow, that blew a lot of oil. I mean, it is everywhere. It's up here. Should I start it up and see if you can see where it's coming from? Oh, right here, yeah. It's your pressure sensor. Gosh dang it, how's yours running? Better than ever? Good. <laughs> I just filled the hole with liquid steel, or whatever it's called. So hopefully that solves my problem. No guarantees. Light them up. if we should go in two at a time. I'll be behind you a little. I'll give you plenty of room to lay down before I run over you. Hey! Sorry! Oh, I can't believe I didn't fix these foot pegs. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't uh, raise my brake pedal. All right, some sand. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, to, wow. Not to self, you can't really uh, sit down to, to corner on this thing. The seat's way too low. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm so out of control. I can't get back far enough on this little thing. The wheelbase is so short. Oh. oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. This freaking front tire, dude. It just keeps pushing. It's so scary. Whoa! We're 86-ish miles into the ride. And this dirt section's been a lot of fun, but we've had some hiccups this morning. But this last bit of dirt, we've been rolling pretty smooth. So the goal today, we've, we're really trying to get to Pahrump so we can meet with Jimmy Lewis. 
He knows his way around a motorcycle. He uh, does some training out here in Pahrump, all sorts of um, off-road training, whether you're a dirt bike guy or a dual sport or adventure guy, he does training. He helps people get into it a little bit and even guys that have done it for a while, makes them a little bit better at it and safer. So he's actually podiumed at Dakar. He's a multi uh, gold medalist at the ISDE and he's won the Baja 1000 overall. So fortunately he was cool enough to let us swing by on this ride and he's gonna give us some tips, some pointers. Yeah, some of his drills and stuff he does is pretty eye-opening. You think you know how to ride a motorcycle. Yeah, sometimes you don't. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. If we can get there. Yeah, hopefully uh, no more breakdowns so we can actually get there and get that training. Because <laughs> we're going to need it. We still got a <laughs> long ways to go, man. <laughs> we should have gotten the training before we started out. <laughs> but hey, 100, 100 miles, what do you think? How many miles into it to Peron? Yeah, we'll probably be maybe, I don't know, 120. Okay. On to Indian Springs. I uh, hit the T up here and go back around the corner and there's a big gas station. Um, everything off to this side though is Kroom. It's all the Area 51, all the big military stuff. So do not turn that way. I think they'll stop you. It's like, I'll try to turn and then it just darts. Dude, the bike is surprising, has done surprisingly well. I'm noticing a few oil leaks with all this dust on here. But... So pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so first day is pretty good. I'm surprised. It seems like we didn't put that many miles down, but had some issues. Other than that, I'm having fun. It's good. You want, to, you want to see how balanced you guys are? You know what? I might, I might be out of gas. I don't think there's any way you'd get any of our bikes up this. Oh, don't stop! Oh. <laughs> 